What up? What up? What up? Ezekiel. Everybody's doing good. When I do my phone, oh, stop. Current FM, how's everybody doing right now? Uh, <coughs> getting down to them winter jam days, man. Right on, right on, right on. That's exciting. Exciting. I love that, the word exciting. You know, if you guys haven't got a Save Your Connect app yet, uh, you might want to do that. Save Your Connect is totally blowing up right now, so make sure you get... A Savior Connect app is app, you know, because uh, it is it is going down. I'm looking for uh, don't you know when your apps disappear on your phone? And I'm trying to find this is why I just want to sound like an old man. Kids, find my phone, find my app. Where'd my app go? I can't see it on the the thingamajig. You know, well, and I know it's up here. I don't know. Well, today we're going to be talking about something cool. We're going to be talking about uh, what we everyone talks about a relationship with God. Uh, what does that even mean? And who gets to make up what the rules are to the relationship with God? Uh, what does that mean to have a relationship with God? Um, I, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of stuff, but, you know, I just know it came out of nowhere and everybody started saying it. You know, like, this is, you, you got to have a personal relationship. Well, how do you have a personal relationship with God? What does that mean, people? So that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Now, I tell you what, um, I'm excited about a lot of things. But the most, the thing I'm excited the most about is what God is doing in the earth today. So much Bible is being fulfilled right now. You know, so much scripture is coming to pass. Uh, the word of God is coming to pass like never before. And <laughs> this is my alarm. I have to use that many alarms to wake me up. So pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, let's see what's... Why does it sound so airy? Oh, there you, there you go. There you, that's who I am. That's how it sounds. Uh, today is Friday, March 4th. Thank God it's Friday. For me, I'm going, it's another work day, but it's okay. It's still Friday. It means we made another week. You know what I mean? That's what that means. We made another week. Um, 
Of course, I've opened up the platform uh, to have some very powerful, prominent people uh, come on the show and join me if they want to. They can talk about whatever they want if they want to. You know, like the idea is to uh, give people a voice. And so I've got a group of people that may or may not come on. I don't know. I'm just constantly sending out the invitation if they wanted to get up. Could grieve how many of these as long as I did I set? What in the world? I don't trust me at all, obviously. Well, you know, here's the thing. When you have kids and, and, and they love sleep, my kids love to sleep. One of my favorite things, one of my kids' favorite things in the world is to sleep. Well, me being who I am, that's scary because all the the Bible verses that talk about getting, you know, sleeping too much and all this other stuff. I, my kids are addicted to sleep like it's a drug. And someone would say, well, dude, they never get to sleep. And I would say, that's not true. And when they sleep, it's so terrifying because there could be an earthquake and they would sleep through it. They would sleep through anything, uh, especially school. That's the thing that they sleep through the most. Uh, but I want to know what this relationship with God uh, actually looks like. And what does that mean to have a relationship with God? Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. But first, I want to do something real quick here. I want you guys to consider this. Check this out. Check this guy out. Listen, there has been times in my life when I have not trusted God as much as I should. But through everything I've been through, I have found out that He has proven Himself to be God in my life. So I know without doubt that I'm safe in His arms. I'm not worried about what tomorrow brings. I'm safe in His arms. I'm safe in His arms. I'm not afraid of what Satan may say. All right, here we go. I'm about to play this song for you. And uh, I want to know what you guys actually think. Uh, so check this out. Here we go. There, there, we, there we go. Listen, there has been times in my life when I have not trusted God as much as I should. But through everything I've been through, I have found out that He has proven Himself to be God in my life. So I know without doubt that I'm safe in His arms. I'm not worried about what tomorrow brings. I'm safe in His arms. I'm safe in His arms. I'm not afraid of what Satan may throw my way I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms Come on and say I'm safe in his arms I'll be confident I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms He is my refuge My fortress, my God I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms I'm safe in his arms He is my refuge Yes, he is Perfect. Perfect. If I 
Esa que mamá to service in this country, in military and law enforcement. And the aftermath is young men are left without fathers to lead them forward. A Life Camp is a camp we built for boys that lost their fathers either from military service or law enforcement. This camp was designed to offer young men the opportunity to get out in the wilderness with a team of mentors who can guide them on their journey of what it means to become a godly man. What these guys are going to experience in this week in the great outdoors is an opportunity to learn about what it means to be a young man in characteristics that are important in life. Hard work, discipline, integrity, honesty, and really progress and grow into strong young men. The experience is over the top. We want to be there for these boys going forward for years to come. If you know of a family we can help, or to support this ministry financially, log on to lifecampusa.org.
your thing, you gotta go somewhere else. Nice. FM in the AM on Positive Hit Radio, Current FM.
What up? Dig the green, the gray hammer. Sorry. Another day to face of life's many responsibilities. We'll get you started with a smile. Mornings on Positive Hit Radio, Current FM. Music. The new music. Current FM, new music now. We the kingdom, dancing on the waves. This is 
such a good song. It is hot. Well, maybe it's just because I'm fat. I don't know. But, you know, uh, good grief. You know, I'm starting to get tired of being fat. All right? It's starting to bug me now. Now I'm getting annoyed. You know, they're like, just accept you the way you are. No. I mean, you can if you can. But for me, I'm like, yo, I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of how, like, how it feels. Like, dude, so annoying. Duh. Duh. All right. How's everybody doing out there today? Uh, matter of fact, oh, by the way, if you guys know any, you know, he's like, so here's what happens. I'm on the go, 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 go. And then, you know, the fast food just, it's so convenient. I might have to open up a restaurant. I'm serious. I might have to open up a restaurant uh, that only sells like, vegetables and fruits ah. here we go it's friday people let's make it happen So one of the things I think about in uh, this crazy world we live in, what's going on in the Ukraine is serious, right? What's going on here is also serious. You got a cold one instead of a hot one? Wow. I never get a cold coffee. I always get the hot one. You see, here's the deal. I'm not gonna be ungrateful. My son went and got me a coffee. It's all good, you know, because people mess up his order all the time. And uh, guess what happened? They don't do anything about it. But here's what's gonna happen. Can you give me? Can you give me a hot one? Oh yeah. Um. I wanted to tell you guys, with all the crazy stuff that's going on in the Ukraine, like I just, you see, I just got, com like I complained about a coffee, but I can do that. You know, they're in the Ukraine. They can't do that, can they? You know, they're at war. And if we don't start being grateful, the same thing can happen here in America. 
I know nobody wants to hear it, but it's true. They're gonna give me a howl. Um, I want everybody to understand something. Life is fragile, and we got to be real careful how we have our little attitudes about everything. We got to be careful how we act when things don't go right. <laughs> you don't like the way that sounds, but it's true. I don't ever want to ruin their blessing because they didn't get their way. That would be sad. That would be really sad. I mean, I don't know if you care about your destiny, but I care about mine. Oh, yeah. Destiny is something else. But you know what's funny? I noticed that people don't even use the word, like, I don't want to make this decision because I don't want it to mess up my destiny. They feel actual immediate pressure from where whatever's going on in their life right now. You can't let it. I think from an eternal perspective, how is this going to affect me eternally? That's what gets me through. I don't know about you, but I know what gets me through. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. What gets me through is just that, that reality that I know that God created me uh, for to do his will. And I'm going to do his will no matter what. However, I don't expect people to always understand what I'm doing. Does that make sense? You know, we're talking today about what does it mean that you have a relationship with God? What does that even mean? You know, sheesh. I, I think a relationship, with God, you got to be careful because it, it can't be dependent upon your perspective of relationship. You just can't. Because that doesn't make sense. If you can determine what the relationship is, then, you know, well, why do we even need God if we're in control of the relationship? Also, uh, I see this video. I see uh, the, uh, I asked a question yesterday on Facebook about what are some things that narcissists say? If you got anything, show, show, if you can call in 757-631-7777. Tell me some things nar narcissists say. All right. I'll be right back. I love this song. Here we go. We're going to play some Toby Mac, Promised Land. Lines and your phone calls. Hello. FM in the AM is on. Positive Hit Radio. Current FM. A special thank you to Chesapeake RV Solutions, your happy camper headquarters, for their support of Current FM. Chesapeake RV Solutions is family owned and themselves many creators. They have a variety of travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and motorhomes to choose from to help you create the memories you will talk about forever. Chesapeake RV Solutions is located in Chesapeake, and you may visit them online at ChesapeakeRVSolutions.com and also on the business page on CurrentFM.com. Music. 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 Music.